table fans. That's right. You love it. Yeah, special effects. Uh, it took a whole special effects team to do that explosion. So uh, I'm, I'm the Michael Bay of uh, shockwaves of happiness. So folks, as usual, a lot going on here. We've got typically 140 projects going, holding the line, holding the line. Jonah, my uh, awesome assistant, my, oh wait, wait, oh, don't put that stuff away. I'm gonna do a video on it. Can you put it all back out? Yeah. Okay, great. So we got another run of these space marines. Oh, these guys are awesome. Check it out. Yeah, gonna do a video on those. They're called Astro Lions. That's good stuff, folks. That's good stuff. This is the this is the board for the bat rep that the guys did. I still have yet to process it. I'm really sorry. Uh, actually, I want to show you something that's kind of shameful. My, my computer overheats when I process video. So I, in my mini fridge, I have blocks of ice frozen. <laughs> so I can put it underneath my computer and keep it cool. So uh, that's, that's low tech, folks. But uh, sometimes that works best. So anyway, uh, just got some projects coming through digital today. Um, we're doing, uh, oh yeah, here's this thing. This is a Project Ice Storm. I've shown this to you already, but it has been touched up. Let me just show you one guy on here. So it's gotten a little additional love. I also got all the game pieces in for it today, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, this RPG hero, Mirai, I think her name is. Let's see if I can get this to focus on her. So, there we go. So that's good stuff, that makes me happy inside. And uh, yeah, so gonna do a special, on, special video report on these guys. That's good stuff. Look at that. He's learning a skill. He's learning a skill. T minus six years, he'll be running the joint. Running. So, um, yeah, we got in some uh, packages here. Got in a bunch of uh, orders from uh, the local game shop. Uh, this is a big old salamander's army that's going to be done. We've got, um, let's see, what else? We got in a bunch of stuff from Forge World for it. Shoulder pads, we got um, fire drakes. Look at the shields on those, isn't that cool? And, um, you know, I gotta tell you guys, I'm looking forward to Age of Sigmar. And I just, I have none of the emotion that's boiling about it. I'm just like, to my mind, it's just like, this is another game that's coming out. It looks cool. It looks good. I'm excited with how, uh, I'm kind of more, like, less rules is better. So, there you go. Anyway, uh, fire drakes here. No, pyroclast, sorry. These guys have like heavy flamers or something on them. So Forge World just keeps putting out the ridiculous stuff. This is a, if I can open it with one hand. Uh, maybe I shouldn't open it with one hand. Wouldn't that be funny? It's a ship in the bottle. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, this is a Vulcan. Oh, these, so, yeah, good job. Forge World, they finally started putting out the Primarchs. You know, and that, that's all you gotta do to protect your IP. By the way, um, on Bell of Lost Souls, they had this amazing article on Age of Sigmar about like why the Games Workshop might be taking that turn in it, because it has to do with intellectual property. So like, by turning the whole thing on its ear and making it these more unusual items, they can now uh, protect their, their IP from basically um, being copied or kind of like what's it called spin-offs of it so uh, big news today is I got a bunch of new painters in these guys are all like uh, oh, oh you're on now no now now you're on you're on uh, you're you're part of the story you missed so anyway exploded the yellow oh is that where he is right now Check this out. It was all okay it was i do not want to to see that i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just to ignore that that happened so anyway these guys all are um accomplished artists in their own right either as uh, uh independently or as hobbyists or as which is often the case um, through uh, higher education and we get a lot of fine arts degrees through here and, uh, you know, but I'm pretty picky. Typically, uh, if you're here for training, you're less than 10% of the people that have been seen. So, uh, so then we give them our, our um, 
our uh, patented uh, blue table painting spin on uh, miniatures painting, and, and away they go. Janine's here today. By the way, your hair's looking awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, awesome. Okay, flip, flip your hair. Give us a flip of the hair. <laughs> that, that's fantastic. So, um, Some of us are not fortunate to have hair. I considered removing all of it. <laughs> that's awesome. Jake is. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, okay, go, go ahead. You've got the floor. You've got the floor. I, I keep wanting to call him Daniel because he looks like Daniel from Stargate. Yeah, a young who was it? James Spader. Young James Spader. Guess what James Spader was just in. What was he in? Just in, he I don't know, the Jurassic voice Park? Of Age of oh, he was. He was the voice of Ultron. He was the voice of Ultron. Okay, great. I'm going to have to see that now. That's awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> you grow up to become Ultron. Yay. Awesome. Good on us. All right, if you could just find that, that uh, follow that story arc for your entire life. <laughs> so um, there we go. Oh, uh, this is Karina. I don't know. If you've met the fans, she does not like being on video at all. Especially not when I'm just. Is there legal there. reasons for that? Legal. Are you well? Are you like um, wanted by the FBI or something like no, that? No, I just covered in loads of paint lines. Yeah. And we, okay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Nice. The but, last um, camera exploded. So uh, good luck with that. Yeah, that's. Um, a pretty useful now yellow splatter effect. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Is it all over? Okay, so I uh, also got my parakeets here. And uh, those are nice company when I'm working like super insanely late at night. And But I, I don't know, I can't really keep them. I'm supposed to find a home for them. And uh, I, I probably will soon, even with just this group here. Uh, of course, this giant Tyranids army, this is getting packed up and sent out to uh, Canada. And um, yeah, so uh, I've, got, I've got a lot on my mind. I, um, I, I, I have like this ramble pent up, like seriously like this five hour ramble, just like, ah, it's inside. Um, what I would love to do, I'll just tell you a little dream. What I would love to do is have the resources to do ultimate D&D and like take like the whole downstairs. By the way, this building, uh, for those of you that may be interested, measures approximately 50 feet by 80 feet, two levels. So it's coming up on 8,000 square feet. It's huge. Um, if you condensed it down, we, we don't use all of this space. Uh, but as many of you know, uh, part of the B2P story is coming into this and refurbishing it. Uh, I've got some pictures where, I mean, this was, this was all just like bare brick. I mean, this got framed, everything got ripped out, the studs, even the studs got ripped out in many cases, and uh, of course turned into this amazing uh, piece of machinery here. And so, um, oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is awesome. Okay, that's not finished. Okay, so um, I, think, uh, I think that's it. So uh, folks, thanks for tuning in. I am uh, making, making deals over starting now and through uh, the July 4th weekend. Um, I actually um, am really just relaxing. I don't have a lot of plans. Um, it's supposed to be 108 in Utah on July 4th, so I will probably just take it easy and if anything try and get to a public pool or a pool of some kind get get in the water so um guy what what else yeah ultimate dnd i think i've talked about that i should do a separate video on just that and so um incidentally right now my thing i'm working on this week is getting this stuff this is like maybe two four six eight, maybe 15 17 projects here uh getting instructions for those and uh, which means I do the paperwork, make sure the client's specifications make sense for the artist and uh, get those into the art department. Right now, things are flowing really smoothly through uh, the art department. In fact, if you look at it, look at this ready to assemble here. Uh, there's only two projects waiting to get picked up for assembly. So there's really, there's really not much. Oh, also instructions for this. This is like what I'm doing next. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming through here, and I ah, guess that's it. I uh, hope you guys all have a happy 4th of July. 
you'll definitely see me again between here and there. I'm putting up one or two videos a day. Uh, but as you guys know, I'm covering virtually all admin type functions at the studio right now and uh, doing, doing pretty well. Uh, more or less things are, things are generally caught up and uh, I feel like I'm close to like getting on top and just like every day just getting the things of that day done. Keep my life simplified. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs>